Good evening, peoples. Got another achievement guide for you today in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Today we are doing the Admiral achievement. Reach round 30 in Carrier. Now, because I'm a mega loser and don't have any friends, I am going to be doing this solo and showing you how I did it. First thing you want to do is to gather as many credits as you can so you can get yourself those weapons. And to do this, a really good thing to do at the very beginning is to use your pistol on the zombies and finish them with a melee because that will give you 130 points for killing them with that and 10 points for every bullet they take beforehand. So now that you've got a bunch of credits and you've got your exosuit, you are going to want to get yourself a weapon. Uh, my personal favourite is the CE3, I think it's called, the Cold Resin Shotgun, and it looks like this. It is an absolute beast and will remove zombies' faces like no other. Also grab yourself the contact grenades, they are to the left of the 3D printer inside the armory. Probably the most important piece of equipment in the entire game for me is the distraction drones. I would strongly advise trying to get these as fast as possible because they do make those later rounds incredibly easy. Uh, you can get them from a 3D printer and they look like this. Also incredibly, incredibly important, grab yourself Exomedic. This means when you're playing offline, when no one is around to revive you, you will be revived. I think this works a total of three times, but will not work again after these, so be careful. You can grab Exomedic from the hangar and from the gun deck. At the end of every round, try to leave a few crawlers on the floor and wander around and grab yourself as many upgrades and as many perks as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you see a full reload, use all of your grenades, I don't use them all here because it's in between rounds, but use all of your grenades before picking it up. Obviously this will help you thin out the numbers of the zombies and it means you will get all those grenades back once you've used them all. As far as technique goes, I think the best place to run around is in the cargo bay. That is the large, wide open room with the exos in it. I really like this room because it's got the security system in it which distracts a few of the zombies so it does make it a bit easier to take care of the few which actually chase you. So you can just keep running and running and running around the outside and hardly getting hit at all, turning around every now and then to take a few shots at the crowd that's following you. When the security system or the little uh, lawnmower zombie thing goes back inside, here is what I like to do. So here is Muggins me getting chased by a bunch of zombies with my secondary weapon drawn because my primary has no ammo. So I'm going to run through the sharks and I'm going to go down to the moon pool room and then I'm going to activate the security system in here and let it take care of a few of them while the one upstairs recharges. So I'm going to activate that and the floor is going to start spitting zombies straight into the sky and we are going to have a whale of a time here. And I just spotted a full reload on the floor, so that's going to solve my problem with my primary weapon having no ammo. And I'm going to go and grab it if I can. As you can see, it's quite hectic. And I'm just going to keep running, running, and running, because that's what you need to do. I'm going to drop a quick distraction drone here. The big guy's going to smash it, so I'm going to chuck another one on the stairs so no one gets us. And I'm going to run back to the cargo bay and continue running my laps around the outside. Hopefully taking care of this guy. Yep, there we go, he's dead. Okay, so I'm going to quickly check, make sure that he's not dropped anything, and he's definitely not dropped anything, and then I'm going to run the laps around the outside, I'm going to quickly press the security system to get the zombies nice and distracted, and I'm just going to pretty much take care of the stragglers. So let's uh, fast forward a little bit and take care of these rest of them. I'm not going to do the entire song, don't worry. Okay, so we're just going to chuck a couple of contact grenades, get rid of the rest of them. And this is round 29, I believe it is, so the achievement should be popping any moment once I take care of these. So you can see the security system's got them all distracted. I'm going to just get rid of the last ones that are on its back. And we are done. So there we go. I believe all you have to do is survive until round 30, not until round 31. So the achievement should pop the second that 29 changes. And let's see. There we go. Admiral Solo. I really hope this achievement guide has helped you. And best of luck getting this achievement. I will catch you later. Bye.